the rear of the aircraft was 40 percent more likely to survive. You got to wonder, though, in this instance, where the tail, the rear of the right. aircraft, came slamming into the uh, edge of the runway on that uh, seawall. What about sitting near or next to exit doors? Right, that's the next best choice, either in an exit row or within a few rows of the exit row. And, of course, what you want to do when you sit down is you want to count the number of rows. You want to find two exits near you, and you want to count the number of rows between you and that exit. So in the case that you're you know, disoriented or you're in a smoke-filled cabin or the cabin lights don't light up like the flight attendant promised they would, you can count the number of rows and get out of that airplane because that's your goal in that kind of a situation is to get out. Do you notice when you fly, I, the last time I flew, I noticed probably 90, I would say 85, 90 percent of people in the plane were not listening to the safety instructions. Yeah. I mean, they, people just put their headphones on, completely ignore that. That's probably something we should pay attention well, to. Well, I think after this, people will probably. Well, but I mean, we, this happens every now and then, and then people just get right back yeah. to, you know, completely ignoring those. But we need to pay attention to that, don't we? We really do. Not only the, the briefing, but also that card that they refer to in the briefing that's in the seat back pocket in front of you. Take a look at it and figure out how to open those exit doors, yeah. even if you're not seated, seated in an exit row. Well, I, I can tell you right now, I, I do that every time I'm on a flight. I was just on a, a vacation. Yeah. I look around for the exit. I think that that's Darwinism. The stupid will weed themselves out of the gene pool. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll find it. I used to work for an airline. And people treat the exit row because there's more there's more there's room there. There's more leg room. People yeah. treat that as just like some sort of reward. And you know, I had a guy. I'm not kidding about this, Kathy. And this probably won't surprise you. I had a guy with a broken leg who was trying to sit in the exit row because he wanted the leg room. And I was like, I can't sit you in the exit row. You have a broken leg. Well, I don't. He just did not. I said, but. You can't be in the exit row with a broken leg because you might... You're going to jam just, up the exit. He could not understand yeah. why he couldn't sit there. I mean, people don't understand that that's actually an important I section of the airplane. I always give those people the eyeball. When I'm coming through on my row to find my seats, I look at who's in the exit row because I want to figure out, are they capable... Yeah. of being able to lift that door out and then throw it out the uh, aircraft. So, Kathy, is it worth the, is it worth the extra money? Because now if you want to choose your own seats, you know, you have to pay extra money on the airlines and, and that kind of thing. I mean, is, so is it worth the extra money to sit in the front of the back, do you think, or is it just kind of being a little overly, overly paranoid? Well, the irony is that the airlines charge extra to sit in the front, which the statistics say you're safer in the back. So... So that's kind of interesting. And, I mean, they put first class in the front, and people certainly pay a whole lot to be up there. Um, you know, another thing that I read, that they're completely redesigning airline seats and making them safer all the time. Smaller, yes, but safer. And one of the things is when you're in landing or takeoff, really cinch down that seatbelt because if your seatbelt is tighter, then if you do get into a situation, having that seatbelt tighter transfers more of the G-force to the seat yeah. Less damaging to you. Well, as we're finding out with the injuries to people that were on board that aircraft well, with paralysis and internal injuries. Yeah, Kathy, we appreciate you joining us today. Our travel expert, Kathy Banks. Here's another one. Don't wear, ladies, don't wear nylons when you're flying on a plane because if there's a fire on that oh, plane, yeah. guess what? That's melting right to your leg. Things like that. Kathy, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.